I'm trying to install my car seat with the vehicle seat belt. So I pulled it out as far as it can possibly go to switch it into locking mode. But when I go to feed it back in, it doesn't actually lock. It keeps pulling in and out. Help, what do I do now? Hi, I'm Emily. I'm a CPST and this seat belt actually does lock, just not in the way you might think. Instead of locking at the shoulder retractor, it has a locking latch plate. That means that when I buckle this seat belt, the lap portion of the seat belt is going to stay locked at the buckle. So even though it moves up and down on the belt right now, when I buckle it in as if I were buckling it through a car seat, pull some slack out, and then grab the lap portion and pull up, like I am leaning on this and it's not going anywhere because it's locked here. So when you install a car seat with this type of seat belt, you feed the seat belt through the belt path, just like you always do. And then you buckle it in. But once you buckle it in, the only thing you have to do is pull it tight. So you would put that compression down like normal and pull across the belt path, almost down toward your hip. Press down, pull tight, feed that slack up, then check for movement. Look for less than one inch of movement, side to side and front to back, and this actually gives a really nice solid installation. Notice that I can still move the shoulder belt in and out at the retractor because it's not locked up here, it's locked at the latch plate at the buckle. Locking latch plates were a lot more common in the late 90s and early 2000s. So if you have a vehicle in that year range and you've tried the shoulder retractor and it doesn't lock, check to see if you have a locking latch plate. It may not look exactly like this one, but if it is a locking latch plate, it will behave the same way where the lap portion stays locked at the buckle. Common examples of cars with locking latch plates are the center seat of the Dodge Journey, the center third row seat of the Dodge Caravan and the Chrysler Town & Country minivan, and the center seat of certain Dodge Ram trucks. Those are definitely where I encounter these most often, but they can be found on many other vehicles as well. I hope that helps somebody out today. Always read and follow your car seat and vehicle owner's manuals and get help from a CPST if you have questions.